Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Street Tips here. The day has finally come for me to uh, try to pull a refining on these silver cell anode filters here. They're going to be full of silver. I'm going to try to get all that out of there with nitric acid. And then there's going to be some slimes left over in the bottom of each one of these filters. i got two containers here of them. And what we'll do is uh, see what kind of precious metals we can get out of these filters. We're going to do that right now. We're going to begin by taking one of our filters here. These things are hard as a rock, completely dry. Got a nylon screen here that I bought at Walmart. So I'm just going to set that in there. We're going to douse it with some distilled water, get it softened up, and then we're going to get that uh, the black powdered material out of here and try to catch any residual pieces of silver shot in this screen. This was recommended by one of my viewers. I said if we can catch that uh, silver in the screen, we won't have to dissolve it with the other slimes that are in the filters. So let's check, take a look here and see what we got. As you can see, these uh, slimes have still have a little bit of metal in them, a little bit of silver. Drain all this out of here, or rinse all this out of these filters the best we can. And then I'll put the filters back here in this separate container. The next one. I'm going to revise my plan here. Uh, getting the residue out of these filters. It's a little more difficult than I planned on it being. So I think what I'm going to do here is uh, soak each of the filters in distilled water. And then, after everything gets loosened up, I can put it all this beaker and then filter out the silver. Here we go, we're just going to pour water in each of these so we get these filters loosened up. And then we'll come back out after everything's softened up and empty everything that's in the filters that large beaker back there and then we'll pour it through the strainer and get the silver out and that should do it allow these to soak now for about an hour I'm gonna rearrange some stuff here and uh, let's see how this is gonna work softer now. Just get the junk out of here. Yeah, it's coming off a lot better now. A lot easier. Each filter is uh, two layers thick of a Dacron material. Uh, I use vacuum cleaner filter bags. This footage is speeded up eight times, and uh, I'm not doing a real thorough job of getting everything off of those filters because I plan to soak those in hot dilute nitric acid to dissolve any precious metals that stay impregnated in those filters later on. 
that mud in each of those filters is probably going to be mostly palladium, but there may be a little bit of platinum and some gold as well. Got all the filters in this beaker back here. What I'm going to do is rinse the solution from these two containers into this main beaker here. and back in service as a uh, temporary storage for the used anode filters. And this one as well. Okay, now what I think I'll do is uh, give this a stir. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of residue down in the bottom of this beaker. It's got to be three inches deep down there at least. So I've got to try to loosen all that off of the uh, pieces of silver shot. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff down in here. this out of the way, set it aside, and what we'll do is I'm going to bring a uh, hot plate over here into play, what we'll do is add some distilled water to these filters right here. It's about one liter I guess distilled water. And now I'm going to pour in some nitric acid. And we're going to try to extract any silver that's remaining on these filters along with any platinum group metals that might be in there with them. Cover this up. Put it up on the heat. Let this cook. up here. I've got a Buckner funnel. It's got a seal between the uh, flask and the funnel. Let's turn the vacuum on. Add some water here to get the filter wet. Now we're going to pour this solution right into our filter. this solution to pull through that filter. I wanted to pull up uh, these things that I bought here recently. They are the uh, little gaskets that go underneath the Buckner funnel, between the funnel and the flask. I bought these white ones, got them on eBay. 
I just wanted to point out, don't buy these. These are trash. I mean, they get all gooey and stick together. They stick to the glassware. And they're, they're just junk, man. Don't want them in the trash down here. These green ones, these green ones are good to go. I've bought these before and uh, they work real well. They don't uh, get gummy like that. So uh, the green ones are fine, the white ones are trash. We've got most of that solution pulled through the filter. What we're gonna do is uh, transfer our solution into a beaker over here. It's full of copper. And uh, this solution is gonna have a lot of silver in it. I'm just gonna pour it right on top of this copper and uh, should cement out all the silver that's in this solution. We will cover the silver out of this solution. cements out of there you want to put this in the fume hood because uh, there are some fumes that comes from this reaction that you don't want to breathe Stick this up here in the fume hood. now we're going to bring our filter back filter flask back in here we continue to pull the rest of the solution out of our solids in that big beaker up top there. through the filter off of our solids in the beaker here so what I'm gonna do now is uh, transfer these solid or this uh, liquid here let me move this out of the way first now that I've got all that liquid pulled through the filter I'm gonna add that blue liquid to the beaker that has the copper in it and in accordance with the reactivity series of metals, the silver that's in that blue solution in the flask will cement out as absolutely pure silver metal on the copper that's in the beaker. So I'm going to add the silver nitrate solution to the beaker with the copper and we're going to recover the silver out of that solution. The copper will go in solution, the silver will come out of solution and fall to the bottom of the beaker. All right, where are we at here? We got our silver cementing out of our solution back here on copper. Over 
here we've got our filter bags boiling and dilute nitric acid. Here's our uh, filter from that last operation. It's got some solids in it. We'll save that for later. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to try our experiment as recommended by one of the viewers on my YouTube channel. We're going to try to strain the copper or the uh, silver pieces out of the solids from our beaker here. I'm just going to pour it into this nylon strainer. I'm going to try to strain out the pieces of silver so we don't have to re-dissolve them and use up a bunch of nitric acid in the next reaction. See how this works. set this back out of the way now and I'm going to rinse the silver in here out with distilled water see if we can get all the uh, all the slimes off of the silver and we should be able to reuse that silver run it right back to the silver cell Using an awful lot of water here. I can't quite figure out if this is going to work or not here. Uh, seeing some pieces of silver in here. I'm also seeing some pieces of uh, solid material. And I don't know if this is going to work or not here an awful lot of water down in there. I have to give this a second look, see if we're going to continue with this. All right, I tried this experiment, see if we could rinse all the uh, slimes off of our pieces of silver in here. And uh, this will look like I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think this is going to be viable here. That should be nice, bright, shiny pieces of silver. I still got a whole bunch of the gray material, which is going to be our uh, slimes. So what I think I'm going to have to do is uh, abandon this approach. Just go ahead and uh, put everything in solution. Like I did the last time that I attempted this experiment. Here's the rest of the material the silver cell slimes from the anode filters. What I'm going to do now is transfer the solids out of this container up here into this clean beaker. do is I'm going to pull this back up here and I'm going to try to empty a little bit more of the solids out of this beaker into here. It did get some finely divided material down here in the bottom of this beaker. So what I'm going to do is strain the rest of this material out of the big beaker here through this nylon strainer here
pour this material off of here through this strainer. This is a lot of stuff, man. A lot of material here. Using a lot of distilled water. Making a lot of waste here. get all this rinsed into here what I'll do is start putting some dilute nitric acid in this material right here try to dissolve everything that's the only way I can see to do this start adding small quantities of uh, nitric acid to this material right here. We'll just let this start dissolving without any heat. Now I think I'm going to wrap it up for the evening and go in and get some rest. Just a little bit here because it's going to be finely divided. It's going to want to take off big time with, on me. It's about 100 milliliters. back here into our container up here. Now this is going to be really uh, hot and so it's going to really want to react when I pour this solution in here. So I'm going to pour it in real slow. You'll see it take off here in a minute once that high, hot nitric gets that finely divided material down in the bottom of the beaker. Matter of fact, that's all I'm going to put in for right now. Put this back on. Let's give this a little stir and watch what happens. I'm thinking it's going to really want to flare up on me, and it's not going to do it. I'm not going to do it this time around. Which is quite all right. What I'll do is I'll just keep adding small doses of nitric to these solids here until I get everything that will go into solution in solution. That'll do it for part one of this series. It's going to take uh, quite a while to get all this material dissolved and processed. I'll have to do it in several different videos and I'm kind of making this up as I go. I've got some previous videos where I refined the uh, silver, silver cell slimes and I've kind of forgotten how to do it here. So I'm gonna have to review those and, uh, and then we'll continue with part two tomorrow. That'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching.